Hey guys, today we are going to discuss about what a chat GPT is and how does it work. So chat GPT is an AI or artificial intelligence chatbot, which is the result of open, AP, open AI initiative along with Microsoft. So Microsoft has spent hugely to the tune of about $10 billion by their own saying, and uh, they have come up with a product that was that has been operational more or less since the last one year, since around November last year, 2022. And it has been a great disruptive force of our times. And after the invention of, you can say, internet or mobile devices. So how does the chat GPT works? So chat GPT works by, uh, I mean, it is a large language model. And in a large language model, the artifact, the product, uses um, artificial neural network, which is, you know, a simulation of our brain neurons, structure of the brain. And these artificial neural networks are numerous and they can uh, uh, process data. They can assimilate and process data and generate useful output. So chat GPT is a special type of neural network, which is known as transformer network. So the chat GPT is actually, if you break it down into its um, acronyms, it is uh, chat for chat and GPT is generative pre-processed transformer, generative pre-trained transformer. Okay. And this uh, GPT, chat GPT is actually trained by uh, a gig gigabytes of text data, you know. Um, so Microsoft says that it has used an open AI. They combined say that it has used about 570 gigabyte of text data from internet, from various sources, from, you know, um, you know, um, it was trained on websites. It was trained on internet contents and P uh, PDF books and other publications and many other sources of knowledge. So it was trained on basically about, uh, so you can see this is from Microsoft Bing. This is my source of information where, which open AI says includes 570 G gigabyte of text or about 175 billion words. So this means that ChatGPT has learned from a wide variety of topics, styles, and gen genres of text, which makes it very versatile and adaptable. So that kind of um, huge resource has gone into the training of ChatGPT. And apart from um, it is uh, being a word predictor, it also has got a special training imparted to it to get it to in its um, present form. And that uh, pre-training is known as reinforced learning for human feedback, which is basically when the narrators and reviewers, they review the output of chat GPT, they rate the output of the chat GPT and the chat GPT tries to fine tune its parameter based on those reviews to get better ratings. So that is known as reinforced learning from human feedback. And chat GPT is basically, it works in a very um, high level way. It can say that, you know, it in a sentence, say the sky is, if you give it a prompt like the sky is, it could end up with filling the blanks like sky is dark or sky, sky is blue or cloudy, depending on what training data it has been trained with. Basically, it is, you know, uh, on the basis of the previous word and the context, current context, it tries to predict the next word. And what are its uses? So its uses are limitless or endless, you can see. So it can advise you, it can write email for you, it can generate contents, it can even write code, and it can write storybooks and can write uh, lyrics and whatever you can imagine possibly with text it can do. But it has got severe limitations and challenges as of now 
which are being addressed one by one. So one of the challenges is that it doesn't always produce accurate information. And it can also produce sometimes very uh, inappropriate responses, which are not um, in the context. And uh, sometimes it um, can generate harmful contents as well. But overall, what I have found from my own experience of handling ChatGPT extensively over the last one year is that you know it if it is harnessed, it it can work like you know um, the way that fire works for our cooking. But it can be also destructive if you can't if you don't use it properly. So it all depends upon what kind of prompt you generate that will output the responses. And all over the world, the all the big um, powers, superpowers, and all the establishments, multinational corpor corporations, and the governments are coming together slowly, and they are trying to put some security regulations in place so we can handle the chat GPT safely in future. So that's all about today's lecture. Thank you very much for listening.